Embracing Cambodia Town in Long Beach. For the past 40 years, Cambodian immigrants have endured a difficult and long journey from their homelands. Their fanatical and tyrant communist leader, Pol Pot's genocidal campaign took place between 1975 to 1978. Those who have survived came to start fresh from the scared past to find new opportunities here in the land of the free and protected. My friend is lucky, he didn't have to go through the killing field. I told her I'm the day for me to go Yeah, this is special, his story amazing, like adventure, you know. For me, I lived through the whole period. And what are the majority of the people here? 10% just survive. That might not be the best way to promote Cambodia town, but to experience that sort of devastation explains that this culture had to endure an extremely difficult situation. For the most part, the shop owners and dignitaries seem to be kind-hearted and hard-working. Besides the value of exploring this new emerging section of Long Beach, it keeps its richness alive. There seems to be a trend these days about celebrating diversity. In the heart of Long Beach, which is now considered the Cambodian capital of the United States, there is a stretch along Anaheim Street. This strong culture is determined to grow root. The city of Long Beach has been an ally by finding programs like the United Cambodian Community that offers free tuition for an entire year at Cal State Long Beach. There's also a market for specialized Cambodian food. This area make it look good. We try to bring more, you know, uh, customer from out there to reach the Cambodia, you know. Many believe in the red string blessing thing, and that's where the Cambodian Buddhist temple of Long Beach comes in. It's supposed to be good luck, a symbol of life, and worn as a reminder to show compassion to others. So Buddhists, Hindus, Jews, and Christians have been seen wearing red string blessing things for years. If you want to dive a little deeper past the Thai tea and boba for a slightly similar taste of the Far East, try monorum. One noodle soup that you are sure to come back for is something like pho, but with papaya, coconut, and banana flour. The whole point is to promote Cambodia business with an understanding of cultural background. Cambodian Coordinating Council said his highest hope is to bring everyone together to make a stronger community through loving each other. The constant battles to convince the older generation that growth and success in Cambodian territory is possible.